All right, well, hello everybody, it's the Doctor, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. We are queued up, starting ICE, Infected Space Elite, right now in our advanced obelisk. So let's see what this ship does against the Borg. The very first thing I'm going to do is to launch my fighters my swarmers get them going hopefully they'll catch up with me and let's do this Here's the bad part about the obelisk is the turning of the around. <laughs> Trying to get now to where I need to go is uh, a bit slow. Make these wide arcs of turning. <laughs> so even though this I may be... Happens, you will escort us to your home world where we will begin assimilating our culture and technology. Even though I'll be present to the party, I may be late to the party <laughs> in this ship. That fire at will, gotta love that. And that uh, proton weapon is also doing its thing. I wonder if the cascade emitter works. I'm gonna try it. I wanna know if it works on this thing. Time is almost out. Didn't really get a chance to see if it worked or not. Oops, I hit the wrong button. I didn't mean to call my Nimbus. That was an accident. Wrong button.
Got a whole bunch of my swarmers going out. Kinda too close to the cube here. I'm taking damage from the cube and the gate. But I'm able to tank it pretty well. Now I am going to use the cascade emitter on the cube. We'll see how that goes. I've got it on, so let's see if it does its thing. Maybe it'll help us. Yep, it's doing it, it's doing it. So I'm not sure how much damage that did, but I did use it. And there we go. Infected space elites in the advanced obelisk carrier. I had to do a fair amount of healing, but not overly done. Not like if I was in an escort or something. Um, you know, but I didn't die, and I, didn't, I never really felt like I was going to die. Maybe once, but then I was able to use Miracle Worker pretty easily as an engineering character. That really comes in handy, and that saved me, but, you know, pretty much pretty much what I expected. The, uh, the event moves so fast that... Um, it's hard for a ship like a carrier to really move around a lot. So anyway, that was interesting. An experience for sure. Now you can see what it does in a fast ice. And uh, now I'm going to pause the video and queue up for a Cure Space Elite and we will do that. So hold on one second. Okay, everybody, and here we go. We are queued up for CSE. I am not doing Kang. I requested not to because I do not feel that a carrier could do the Kang well. Because you just can't move fast enough to get to where you need to go to get to places. That's pretty much it. Although, maybe with your carrier pets, if you had a lot of them, like these swarmers, they could help in a situation like that, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go do the cubes. And this... This one will test my ability to tank well because the the Borg love to use they love to use shield drains on you and it will really take your shields down fast. That went down really fast. That was a good run right there. Faux show. A very good run. Go Swarmers, go! There's the Neg Bar. Let's try to take this Neg Bar, huh? Let's give it a shot. 
don't have anything to shoot it with, but I'll do my best. Bird of praise. I mean, uh, raptors, not bird of praise. I'm thinking of Romulans today. You know, the uh, bird of praise. Uh, get them out of the way. That's done. That's done, and that's done. I haven't even needed to use the uh, cascade emitter. I've been looking, uh, looking for a. Uh, reason to use it here in this one, but I haven't yet. Maybe I'll use it on these Neglars. I don't know, may not have a chance. They're going down real fast. Yep. No need to use them there. I wonder if they will help me take down these probes. Where are all my swimmers at? Cascade emitter, go. There we go. Alright, I think it actually helps. Maybe. Get my swarmers out. Do their thing. Warning. Ship is under attack. Wait for the carrier. There we go. Maybe I could have saved that um, cascade for the carrier, but maybe next time I'll do that. Seemed like the time to use it was during that last one when all those neg bars pop at once. It's a good time to bring out the goodies. Got all my loots. All right. So there you go, guys. Another Borg Elite STFs. This was CSE in the Advanced Obelisk. I never again, I never felt in danger of dying. Uh, I did have people healing me still, but even on my own, I, I really felt like this ship could take the beating. Look at all these swarmers I have. Look at that. I've got a... I, I almost made a dirty joke there. <laughs> but I have a whole lot of swimmers with me, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright everybody, I'm going to pause the video and queue up for Kittimer Accord Space Elite and then, um, and then we'll uh, conclude with this set of videos for the Advanced Obelisk. So hold on one second. Hello everybody and welcome back. So here we go, our final Borg Elite STF. This is Kittimer Accord uh, Space Elite. And uh, 
this will be a good test to see how this ship does in a longer STF, or one where we don't have to fly all over the place really fast and get stuff done. Uh, this one we can concentrate and focus on different areas at a time, so that'll let us focus on our ship's abilities on those areas. And uh, I am curious to see if the cascade emitters work on the uh, generator or the transformers beside the main gate. I, I want to know if it actually does any damage to that. So maybe I'll get a chance to, uh, to do that. And to the gate itself, I'd like to know if the cascade emitter will help versus that. Now one thing I do kind of wish this ship had, because I'm getting really used to it on the Romulan side and other, other ships, is uh, a cloak. Man, I love a cloak. Especially a battle cloak. Go, heavy gra gra uh, gravimetric device. Go. Hard to say that fast. Oh, get away from the gate. Hopefully my swarmers will catch up with me. That's the only part is that it takes some time to catch up with me. There they, there they are. All right, let's see what happens with this cube here. I want to turn around so I can fire a torpedo at it. It's so hard to turn. Turn, turn, turn. Cascade emitter works on this thing. That's that's what I want to know. And I can't tell. I have no idea if that was making an impact or not. I'm going to guess that it was. Went down real fast. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, Yo, oh, my turning skills. All right, cube time. I'm trying to turn. Target shields have failed. This our no weapons. You will escort us to your own world, where we will begin assimilating our culture.
gate does a number on you, that's for sure. I'm going to use the uh, cascade emitter again when it's recharged. Four shields failing. We will add your technological and biological distinctiveness to our own. Go. Yep, it works. Definitely works. That should increase my four shields. Yeah, it increases your um pull strength. Quickly get to the other side because they're going to get swamped. Oh boy, not bad for a carrier. Not bad for a carrier. It's just, it's so, it lumbers so much. But, um, it actually does, I guess, a decent a bit of damage with all those swarmers. I want to try to use the cascade emitter on her, but she cloaks so fast. Sometimes, sometimes she doesn't stay, stay there for long enough. Okay, I gotta get out of the way. Actually, I think I could tank that, but I don't, I don't need to. You will be assimilated. I'm, I'm not even gonna have to use the cascade emitter. She's going down real fast. Nope, okay, no chance to use it. Oh well. <laughs> Maybe with the Voth we'll get to use it more. 
But there you go, everybody. Kenner Court Space Elite. And I have not taken any permanent damage. And all three uh, STFs notice I have no permanent damage um, that I need to go heal or anything. That's impressive. So, you guys can formulate your own thoughts on this ship based on that combat, what you think. I think it's a little slow for some of these STFs that are fast. ICE and CSE are kind of fast, um, and CASE is a little slower, so it's a little more fun. Uh, I'm going to say that the Voth Breach is going to be hard to do in this thing because you have to turn a lot. Um, I also think, though, that I can tank the... Um, weapon platforms on it pretty well. Um, then the last one I do, I think I'll do pretty well in because that one you don't have to move a lot. So anyway, um, based on what I've seen so far of this ship in action and, and doing these three, STS, three STFs and everything, um, it's one of my more favorite carriers. I'm, I'm not a carrier person and I'll make that known. I do not like slow moving ships. I do not like slow turning ships. I can't stand it. I'm not a carrier player. Um, however, out of all the carriers I've used in this game, I think this is my favorite one so far. And uh, that will be uh, tested more when we do the two Voth STFs. But so far, I'm leaning toward this being my more favorite carrier. At least for me personally. So anyway, I hope that uh, helps some people out there. You got to see this thing in action and uh, we got to use its abilities and see what it can do. And so now... I will make a whole nother set of videos and we'll do Breach, Voth Breach, and then Voth uh, Spire. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.